In this lecture, we will talk about what we mean by statistical control and holding the effects of other variables constant in our model. Statistical control allows us to look at the effects of one particular independent variable on the dependent variable in our model while holding constant the effects of all other independent variables in our model. This is the beauty of statistical analysis. Mathematically, it allows us to include the effects of other independent variables in our model while we are just focusing on how one particular independent variable is associated with the dependent variable. Let's say this is the model we have. We are trying to assess the effects of parents' education, students' sex, and family structure on students' math score. Parents' education are measured by the years of schooling. Sex is represented by males and females. And family structure is represented by two parents' family, single parent family, step-parent household, and non-parent household. Let's start with the impact of parents' education on math score. Here, we are going to see how the predicted value of math score changes when we increase parents' education by one year, holding the values of sex and family structure constant. This is how we do it. First, we will examine the impact of parents' education on math score for male students from two parents' family. Next, we will examine the impact of parents' education on math score for male students from single parents' family. Then, we will look at the impact of parents' education on math score for male students from step-parents' family. And finally, we will look at the impact of parents' education on math score for male students from non-parents' family. This is what we mean by looking at the impact of parents' education on math score by holding the effects of sex and family structure constant. After that, we will look at the impacts of parents' education on mathematics scores for female students from two parents' family. Then, we will look at the impacts of parents' education on math score for female students from single parent families. After that, we will look at the impacts of parents' education on math scores for female students from step-parents' family. And finally, we will assess the impacts of parents' education on mathematics scores for female students from non-parents' household. And again, this is what we mean by assessing the impacts of parents' education on math score by holding sex and family structure constant. Now, let's say we want to examine the impacts of being a male or female student on math score. First, we will look at the effects of being a male student instead of being a female student on math score for students from two parents' family whose parents has a first grade education. Next, we will look at the effects of being a male versus a female student on math score for students from two parents' family whose parents has a first grade education. Then, we proceed to look at the effects of being a male student versus a female student on math score for students from two parents' family whose parents has a third grade education. Then, we will look at the effects of being a male instead of being a female student on math score for students from two parents' family whose parents has an additional year of schooling. This process will go on and on and on until finally, we will look at the effects of being a male versus a female student on math score for students from two parents' family whose parents has a college education. After that, we proceed to examine the effects of being a male instead of being a female student on math score for students from single parents' family whose parent has a first grade education. 
Then, we will look at the effects of being a male student on math score for students from single parent families whose parents has a second grade education. Then, we will look at the effects of being a male student on math score for students from single parent families whose parents has a third grade education. Then, we will proceed to look at the effects of being a male instead of a female student on math score for students from single parent families whose parents has an additional year of, year of schooling. This will go on and on until finally, we will look at the effects of being a male student on math score for students from single parent family whose parents has a college degree. After that, we will look at the effects of being a male versus a female student on math score for students from step parents household whose parents has a first grade education. Then, we will examine the effects of being a male student on math score for students from step parents household whose parents has a second grade education. Next, we will examine the effects of being a male student on math score for students from step parent household whose parents has a third grade education. Then, we will proceed to examine the effects of being a male student on math score for students from step parents family whose parents has an additional year of schooling. This will go on and on until finally, we will examine the effects of being a male instead of a female student on math score for students from step parent household whose parents has a college degree. After that, we will examine the effects of being a male versus a female student on mathematics scores for students from non-parent household whose parents has a first grade education. Then, we proceed to examine the effects of being a male student on math score for those from non-parent household whose parents has a second grade education. Then, we will proceed to examine the effects of being a male student on math score for students from non-parent household whose parents has a third grade education. Then, we proceed to examine the effects of being a male versus a female student on math score for students from non-parent household whose parents has another year of schooling. This will go on and on until finally, we will look at the effects of being a male versus a female student on math score for students from non-parent household whose parents has a college degree. As you can see, this is what we mean by assessing the effects of student sex on mathematics score by holding parents' education and family structure constant. Then, we proceed to assess the impacts of family structure on math score. First, we will look at how changes in the family structure affect math score for male students whose parents has a first grade education. Then, we will examine how changes in family structure affect math score for male students whose parents has a second grade education. Then, we will examine how changes in family structure affects math score for male students whose parents has a third grade education. And after that, we will look at how changes in family structure affects math score for male students whose parents has another grade level. This will continue until, finally, we will look at how changes in family structure affects math score for male students whose parents has a college degree. And this is what we mean by assessing the impact of family structure on math score by holding sex and parents' education constant. Then, we proceed to examine how changes in family structure affect math score for female students whose parents have a first grade education. Then, we will examine how changes in family structure affects math score for female students whose parents have a second grade education. After that, we will assess how changes in family structure affects math score for female students whose parents has a third grade education. After that, we will proceed to examine how changes in family structure 
a fat math score for female students with another year of schooling. This will go on and on and on until finally we will look at how changes in family structure affects math score for female students whose parents has a college degree. And again, this is how we assess the impact of family structure on mathematics scores by holding sex and parents' education constant. This is a very simple regression model with only three independent variables, student sex, parents' education, and family structure, and assessing their effects on students' mathematics scores. But this simple regression model with only three independent variables does illustrate the meaning of holding constant or statistical control. However, nowadays, with statistical programs like SPSS, SAS, STATA, R, MINITAP, and so forth, their embedded computer algorithms enable us to do the behind-the-scenes calculation. And because of that, we don't have to do the tedious calculation. But still, it's important to remember the logic. Thanks for listening.